Hello everybody, welcome back to another Photoshop tutorial. In this one, I'm going to show you how to change the color of an eye like a pro. Here we go. I'm going to show you step by step. First step, get your footage in or get your image in. Now you want to go to your toolbar and select the pen tool. We're going to draw a mask around the eye just like this. And it doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to be doing some feathering. But, you know, make it as good as you can. Something like this. And I would normally zoom in a little bit more. But, hey, you know what? This is just to show you the technique. Okay, zoom in. Yeah, it's pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect, like I said. Now, right click on it and make it into a selection. Feather the radius by as many pixels as you see fit. For me, I'm gonna go with four pixels for this one because I want a nice feathered edge. Okay, good, because that way it dissolves off into the distance. All right, good enough. Now, the next step is we're gonna go down here and we're gonna create a new solid color adjustment layer. Go to solid color, and now we're gonna select the color we want. For this one, I'm going with a darker green. We're gonna make a nice dark green eyeball. All right, good, left click on OK. Now, holding down the Alt key or the Option key, we're just gonna clip it to the mask below. Although that's not necessary, it's just an old habit. And now, let's drop the opacity down to about 60%. That's kind of in the ballpark, but again, it doesn't look natural yet, not to worry. Select the blending mode right here, go from normal, go to color. Now you're gonna see what we're working with. Now we're really close. If you wanna go a little further, click on this mask and then adjust the feather as you see fit. For example, I like to feather it up quite a bit, something like, ooh, that's a bit too far. Something like that looks pretty natural and it's got some blue kind of going into the green there. And as a last effect, if you really wanna go down the rabbit hole, you can grab a brush like this, make sure that you've got a soft round brush like this, select it, opacity, flow, 100, 100, and then you can actually go around the edges if you wanted to get rid of some of this green tint. If you're painting with black, like I am, you'll see that I'm removing some, any, any external, any extra green this is not a necessary step, but it is something you can do. Thanks for watching.